Hello, <clears throat> I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast and the problem reads uh, determine the horizontal and the vertical components of a uh, reaction at pin C who says C A uh, C A and B Okay uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Bella. Right. So we have um, this frame. And uh, we have member AB. <coughs> member AB is... Member AB is a two-force... Uh, member okay and what do we mean by two force member uh, this is a member that has only two forces no moments only two forces at two locations and uh, these forces uh, at these two locations are equal in magnitude they are collinear and they are opposite in direction. Okay. The forces at the two locations are equal in magnitudes. They are collinear. That means they're in a straight line. Or they coincide. They're in a straight line. As in if we were to draw a line here. These forces they go like this. Okay. From A to B. They are collinear. Alright. Like so. This is what we mean. Okay. They are collinear and they are opposite in direction. Great. So we have a two force member which makes the problem much easier. So let's draw a free body diagram. Okay, let's draw a free body diagram. Let's start from there. We go like this. I'll delete part of it. I just want it to be collinear. All right. Let's say this is what we have. Let me just put this as dotted. All right, this is what we have. And let's call this force here as force A, B. We are assuming it is in compression. And then the slope, the slope for this, uh, the slope for this is uh, a 45, you've seen. The height is one from A to B and uh, the length the rise is 1 and the run is 1. So 1 to 1, that's a 45, right? So this is a 45. This is a 45 degrees. Okay. Okay. That's a 45. So let me write it down here. So we are saying this is AB. Okay, so this is a 45. Okay, and if it is a 45, uh, of course we are going to, I mean, it's, it's inclined, of course we are going to have two components when we start calculating at B. Okay, see we have a hinge, so we expect two reaction forces, AY. And CX. Okay. Can we work out this problem the way it is? Mm -hmm. We can. We can work it out. Uh, even without separating. Yes, we can work it out. So, what do we do? We're going to take moments about point C. So let's write this in advance into two components. So we have component. Let me rub this. Okay. I'll write it later on. So we have this component here. We have this component here. One component, in fact, is going through the joint. That joint there, okay. 
so we said this is 45 so this one is 45 there right it's the same as this one here right remember okay and then we have another component which is this one here all right so this one is going to be equal to a b uh sign 45 okay and then we have this one here a b cos 45 okay let me take it a little bit up somewhere there a b cos 45 great so what we'll do is we are going to take moments about point c we'll take moments about point c so that we find the reactions at c at a and at a they are they going to be the same as those at b all right uh, so summation of moments about point C equal to zero and clockwise being our reference uh, What do we have? Um, we have a 400 uh, by 2 Okay Then we have a clockwise couple moment Which is 800 and then we have minus as a b by sine a b sine 45 times the liver arm so this a b here so we have one plus one plus two which is four right so by four as a clockwise one and then we have a plus a b cos uh, cos 45 by the liver arm we have one and another one okay and this are uh, anti-clockwise which is positive so by two equal to zero therefore uh, a b is going to be equal to uh, grab your calculator so we have 400 by 2 uh, plus 800 uh, and then we have of course this then divided by uh, we have uh, uh, <coughs> we have a minus A minus four a uh, minus four sine forty five uh, plus uh, cos two cos forty five. All right, so I'm finding my a b. Uh, I'm finding my a b to be equal to um minus i mean plus one one three one point three seven uh, newtons okay let me just check it again four sine 45 plus two cos 45 okay oh minus 4 sine 45 plus 2 cos 45 okay and then we have um, 1600 divided by answer so 1131.37 so this is the value of a b this is the value of a b so if i was to just extend this a little bit uh, we found the value of a b i just extend it if i say a b there i put it like so so this value is equal to uh one one three one point uh three seven newtons 
and then these values we need them also 1131.37 sine 45 so this one is equal to 799.999 which is just 800 and also this one is equal to 800 all right so we have that so what we need to do now is uh, to apply another set of uh, equations so that we find cy and cx so summation of forces in the y equal to zero going up in our reference uh, we have minus 400 okay and then we have uh, I'll just use this value 800 here, okay, plus 800, then plus CY equal to 0, okay, and then finally our CY is just going to be equal to minus 400 plus 800, we get our CY to be equal to minus uh, 400 newtons then summation of forces in the x equal to zero okay in that direction being our reference uh, we have 800 which is this one okay and then we have uh, plus cx equal to uh, zero therefore our cx is just going to be equal to minus 800 newtons okay um, so we found cy let's just change and cx let's change the directions so this is going like so and this is equal to uh, cy we said is equal to 400 and uh, this is also the direction changes is going in like so and this is cx is equal to uh, 800 okay so it's like we are done with this particular problem let me just outline a b so this is a two force member a b so the reaction at a is going to be equal to the reaction at B okay so the reaction at A so we are saying our A here is going to be equal to B which is equal to AB all right and this is equal to uh, we are saying this is equal to is equal to 1131.37 newtons all right and then we have our CY, all right, and then we have our CX, okay, great. So this is really about it, this is really about it, and I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Uh, I'm going to add later on uh, a PDF of uh, this particular solution in the description section just below the video. Okay. And I'll be doing so for all the videos and even the old videos that I've done so that you can download a PDF version of uh, this particular solution. Bye-bye uh, and see you in my next uh, screencast.